This is Eric Posable with Body Morph Pros. I'm here with Tavish Steele, who just competed uh, this morning in the men's super heavyweight uh, class. How's it going, man? It's going good. Had some food, got a nap finally, so I feel a lot better than yesterday. So it's nice getting that little coma nap. Yeah, since you, you know, you're up all night going to the bathroom, maybe get three hours of sleep, and that's like a lot. Yeah. You know? And so, yeah, when you get done with pre judging, have a little bit of food, it's just you can't even keep your eyes open. So. Yeah. It was nice just to Especially get that grease in your belly. Yeah, exactly. No more fish and green beans. It's like a burger. It's like real food. Yeah. So, yeah. And no fish. No fish, yeah. I mean, I didn't do a lot of fish this prep. I did it last year. But honestly, I mean, if you look, I mean, people say it makes your skin thinner and stuff like that. I honestly don't believe that. I think if you just want a lean protein source, just have hydro whey or egg white mm -hmm. or just some lean chicken breast. Because fish is just, I mean, unless you live on the East Coast, it's kind of hard to find, like. Good. Yeah. Or cheap. Or cheap, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you want to have fish that tastes like antibiotic or, you know, have some slimy grease on it, I just, no, nah, not for me. You have a hard time with fish. I'm not a real, I don't mind fish, but I don't like real fishy fish. I don't want anything that looks, it, like, I literally feel like I just drug out of the lake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know like great lake water, Midwest taste. Yeah, exactly. Um, I actually eat a lot of fish in the off season. Um, I got that idea from Evan Senapani watching his videos. And the reason is, is this chicken is more dense. So I know I eat a lot of that during pre-contest and fish, you know, you digest it so much quicker yeah. that in the off season, you can have a bunch of that with a bunch of carb and fat and not have it sit in your stomach for five hours. Be like, oh, wait, I got to eat, yeah. you know, another 10 ounces of meat or, you know, two cups of this or two cups of that. So it's actually easier to eat in the off season. That's contradictory as that sounds. Yeah. People say, you can't do that. Yeah, you you just disobeyed <laughs> every bodybuilding law known to man. <laughs> a bunch of people's minds just exploded. It's, yeah. But it's, it's easy, melted I mean, from the Yeah, place. exactly. Uh, but it's easier just to have higher protein and actually get in more meals that way in the off season. So I mean, that's what I do. I just kind of reverse things that way. So it works for me. Right. When, when it works for you, it works yeah, for you. Yeah, right? I'm not going to change it. So. so let's talk about uh, Junior Nationals, your experience here for a minute. Um, tough, super heavyweight class. Yeah. Um, there's some big names in there. I know Sergio was uh, one of the favorites coming in. He, he didn't really disappoint. He was in that first call out. Um, I was actually pretty surprised with the supers. Um, there's a lot of big guys. I think conditioning uh, was a little tough once you got out of maybe the first couple, two, three guys. But um, but a bigger class than last year. I think last year they only had maybe like 10 guys or 11 yeah, guys. It wasn't that many. And I know even this year, like the Junior USAs, that was a small show too. And at weigh-ins, I had a lot of mixed numbers. They said there was only nine guys, and then I moved up well, to 12. Originally I, I heard and 10, and then the yeah. four didn't make weight or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and then I know a couple guys um, didn't make the heavy class, so they bumped them up. Yeah. So... Um, I mean, I'd rather have more than less, to be honest with you. Since yeah. it's my first time at a national show, I just said, yeah, I just see where I stand against guys that have been doing it for years. You know, I just turned 25 just like, like about two weeks, three weeks ago. Yeah, you're still just so young in yeah, this Yeah, I'm just a little chicklet, so I just figured, like, might as well just see where I stand up against and these guys and see what I need to work on for this year. So. Dip your toe in the water and, and kind of take a stab yeah, at it. Yeah, see. see where I stand. So, And it's, it's a good thing, too. I mean, it's good to be humbled. A lot of guys... Um, you know, they go into shows, they want a regional show, even just want a class, and, you know, they come into a national show and say, oh, you know, I want my regional show, and I look good, I think I look good, <laughs> and then they don't place, and they throw this big fit, and start, you know, slashing people left and right, so yeah. you gotta, you gotta start somewhere, you know what I mean? And, so. and uh, you know, this has been the conversation I've had a lot during these interviews this weekend, is that I think people underestimate the jump from the local shows, the regional shows, up to this national level shows. So it's, it's a big jump. I mean, these guys, some of these guys have been doing it a long time. I know um, one of the guys in the heavyweight class, Al uh, Kilchowskis, mm -hmm. uh, he was in that first call out. Uh, he was, he's in his 40s, he's doing masters, but he's been competing for like 15 years or something. He's got that dense, hard, mature muscle. Never had any injuries, and the guy's just so thick. It's like, it's hard to compete against guys like that that have been doing it a long time. And, I think people fail to realize that those guys exist at the national level. Yeah, and that's 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 another thing. I mean, that's you nailed know, right in the head there. That when you know guys do get at a regional show, well, you know, national show, those are the same guys that have won regional shows, sure. but they're bigger regional shows. You know, I'm from the Midwest, so shows around here, you know, somewhat big. But if you go to the East Coast or West Coast, you know, you're talking like 400 people yeah. at a show, and that's some like of a, John Lindsay shows four or five hundred people. Huge, I know there's a, huge. Uh, what was it, the Phil Heath? I think just had like 800 competitors yeah. or something crazy. Well, that's bigger than this. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. think about how crazy that is. Show. Yeah, you know, so when you have somebody win that and coming to here, it's I mean, it's just like a regular thing for them. Yeah. But for me, you know, the biggest show I've done, there was maybe 250 people there, and a step here where they said it's the biggest juniors they had. It's like, oh, 
well, this is different. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, it's good to be humble and be like, okay, well, what do I need to reassess? Yeah. You know, where, where do I start from here? So. Yeah, you kind of go to the drawing board and go, okay, this, I got the first one out of the way. I, I got yep. the jitters out and the, and the nerves and dip my toe in the water. Um, have you given any thought now the dust is kind of settling as to what might be next? Just maybe hit an off season and put some size on or you going to try to do another show right away? Yeah, um, like I said, I was, I'm working with Matt Berzicott. Yep. You know, he lives in Des Moines with me, or we were roommates, but uh, he moved his girlfriend from Portland here, but we're still working together. Um, I did a show in Kansas City. It was J or Chad Nichols' show, The Mayhem. Mm -hmm. So I qualified there again. Um, and I think we're just going to kind of take a week off this week, just kind of rest, you know, let my body recover and then just kind of reassess and see what I need to work on. Obviously, be bigger if you're a super mind as well, just get big as you can. <laughs> right. Without blowing your waist out or anything right. like that. As long as you don't look like a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that look, the Kool-Aid guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then basically, I kind of look towards next year and see, uh, you know, if I want to do juniors again or do junior USAs or something like that. I mean, don't, obviously, don't do a pro qualifier. But it will probably be this next show, but just, you know, same show as this one, just bring a better package next year. So. Well, and, and on the bright side, I think uh, having already the qualification for next year helps you not have to worry about requalifying next year because uh, you will be qualified from the from the mayhem this year, which it's always tough trying to peak and re-peak and then peak again. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's what I was planning on doing. I mean, me and Matt, we talked about, you know, what are we going to do if I don't place at this show? And we just decided to do the mayhem. It was like two weeks before even... We just sent in the entry form and said, you know, whatever, just might as well do it. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for that, I was going to do the Minnesota State, which is next, next weekend, weekend, and just try to requalify there. But so I don't have to worry about that. Now I get to, like we talked about before, just eat and just <laughs> kind of be normal yeah. for a couple of days and then kind of be a fat kid for a yeah. week. And then... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chubby Kids Club. Yeah. And get back at, you know, get back at it uh, come the following Monday. So it'd be nice to just kind of rest up and enjoy the weather. Yeah, the summer stuff yeah like you'd be able to, 4th of July, have a barbecue, have a exactly, hot dog. Exactly, yeah, not be that guy that has to bring his cooler, yeah. can't drink, can't eat. You know, you're the weird guy. Yeah. So Him over there. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> the for, emo guy with this little cooler. Yeah. You won't talk to anybody. Yeah. Well, for being only 25, being at the, at the national stage and being a super heavyweight, I think that speaks volumes as to the potential you've got. So obviously we'll see you again in the future. Um, before we cut out of here, do you mind hitting a couple of quick poses for us? I don't have my suit on. I just, All right, so we won't have. So he doesn't have a suit on. So unless you guys do that thing, but it's, I, this is a, this is the wrong couch. This is not that couch. <laughs> I thought we talked about this last time. You showed up with the camera. Yeah. Last <laughs> last time I met this guy, I was uh, filming Berzicott, and he was asleep in the other bed. He wakes up, and there's suddenly a man with a camera in his room. So uh, I looked up, and Eric's got this camera. Like, oh hi. I'm like, uh. <laughs> it's about to get real weird in here. Hold this. Go back to sleep. This never happened. Yeah. Just just relax and let it happen. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations again at being the national level. Nice. Uh, obviously, wish you could uh, had a different, better outcome, but obviously everything's a learning experience. Take with it what you can and, and improve, and hopefully we'll see you back here next year, bigger and better, and in, uh, in that top five. Yeah, hopefully. Awesome, man. Well, as for uh, Tavish Steele, this is Eric Posapel with Body Morph Pros. We'll see you guys back at the night show. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it.